Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the web scrapping again. Already, we did a video on web scrapping like how to get the duration of any playlist from YouTube. But I think that is not useful for everyone. So today, I am going to make something useful. So we are going to do the web scrapping. But along with that, we are going to learn few more things as well. So we are going to learn how to send a mail with the help of Node Mailer. And also, I am going to use the GitHub Copilot. So I will be writing very less code. Copilot is going to write code for me. GitHub Copilot is an VS Code extension that can give you code suggestion based on the comments you are going to write. And it is not for everyone now. It is in the beta stage, I believe. And you have to do some registration to get the access. I got this access like previous, like three weeks ago, I believe. But I didn't did a dedicated video because I was waiting for a good scenario to give you a demo. And I think this is the best one. So stick around, we are going to learn so many things and I believe it will be interesting as well. Let me tell you what I'm trying to do. So here we have this link, right? So the Amazon, this price is like about 480 rupees, but I believe I, I have saw the price like 400 or 350 something. So I just wanted to wait until the price decreased and then I want to purchase this, okay? So instead of going and checking this in a regular basis, I thought of writing a script, a scrapping, which can let me know like, it will let me it will send me a mail where i can check and i can buy the product okay so that is what we are going to do with the help of playwright let's get started now so first of all we need the url so i'll just copy this url and here i'll say like const url equal to this url okay and then followed by i'm going to import the test from playwright so import uh and here you can see we are getting some suggestion these are getting from the amazon i mean sorry not amazon i mean github copilot but not we are going to use that extensively so here also this github copilot is giving a suggestion but i know what to use so i will use this okay then i'm going to create a test block here i can use the shortcut this i will make a tutorial on this like how to add a boilerplate code in vs code maybe in the next video okay so i'm going to break down the steps what i'm going to do so first of all we write the spec name and here i will say like amazon uh, price Okay, I'm going to write the comments. Eventually, that will be converted into code. I'm not kidding you. Let me show you. So here I'm going to say like first uh, navigate to the Amazon product page. See, I don't have to even write the comments. It is doing for me. Okay, so I'm going to give tab and enter, and then it says like await. Go to page dot go to that URL. Very cool. And then I'm going to uh, get the price right. So get the uh, price of the product and then i'm going to give enter and then it's giving me some suggestions like const price equal to uh, this one um uh, yeah i think uh, this is fine okay but let's do some modification okay so here this id i'm not sure whether it will work or not so let's go and inspect and check so i'm going to inspect this and here actually it is correct but i can make it more precise so i can see that this is within the div id called price and within that we have this one so I'm, i will just write it more precisely so that i can make sure it's not going to break for any of the page okay so let's quickly confirm that so i'm going to open maybe some another product here and i'm going to inspect this one and i will just use this and yeah it's same so i think we should use the same uh, locator okay and here we are getting the text content that means we'll get the price but this price also contains the dollar i mean rupee symbol so we have to remove that right because if i have to do the price comparison uh, i cannot do with the rupee symbol as well right so i'm going to write the condition for that so i'm going to write a, actually the comment and i'm expecting github to give github copilot to give me the code so i will say like remove the currency symbol and the comma okay let's see what is this okay so we got a regular expression that will remove all the uh, special characters i mean anything other than 0 to 9 that is like uh, anything other than integer it is going to give me okay so here we are getting some mirror what is this like probably it is an null so we know how to fix it we'll just add a question mark to that that's fine and we got the price so this will be my current price 
okay now let's go and log this current bytes let's check if it's correct or not and is our regular expression working fine okay uh, so we'll go to our playwright config file where i have added the amazon price that spec name already so i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm test that should run my code let's see okay so we got it and the unfortunately it says like forty-eight thousand uh, because we have removed like anything other than uh, numbers so dot is also removed so that's why we are getting this so instead of replacing this entire text i can just replace the uh, rupee symbol probably i can copy this i believe yeah and replace it over here i'll just replace that and then i will get like 48 comma i mean for 480.00 okay so we'll get the price with the decimal if you want you can remove the decimal value as well but i think this is fine okay if you want you can do it so i can select split and then i will split based on the uh, dot and i want the first part so that's going to be like uh, zero okay so let's go and run this one more time just to confirm we are getting the correct price and also we can convert that into a number type uh, so that like we can do some if condition okay or else we have to write like string based conditions so here you can see we are getting the uh, proper price that is 480 rupees and that is sufficient as of now so let's leave it as it is okay so first part is done we know how to extract the price from the web now we are going to uh, write a code to send the email using node mailer okay that's it now let's see the beautiful uh, but before that we have to remember one thing we of course we should use this npm i node mailer and you can add that as a dev dependency uh, so that we will get all the dependencies okay so here first of all we'll go and call this node mailer so i will say like const node mailer something like that and yeah so we are going to require this from node mailer okay and it should be const so t is missing there yeah that's it okay so uh, okay now we have written the commands like send the mail email using node mailer so i'm going to give enter and that should give me all the suggestions so here i'm going to give enter where we have to say the service i'm going to use the gmail and then i have to give the authentication so i'm going to give the username that is email id and the password and then uh, the bracket and we'll close another bracket okay so that's it we have given our authentication now with the help of this transporter we can send the mail let's see how to do that so i'm going to say transporter dot send mail and here i have to give some data like from like which account i have to send the mail of course whatever we are, we are going to give here that should be here and to like you can send mail to anyone so i'm going to send it to my personal account and then the subject which is again taken by the copilot very smartly so here our spec name is amazon price drop notification that has been taken as the email subject and then if you want text you can give that so the price of the product uh, has dropped to this one okay so you, we, we are getting the url as well okay that's really cool and now if you want you can add the html as well like you can give the direct link as well so let me give that uh, so here i'm going to say like uh, html colon and here we are getting something like paragraph the price has been dropped to the product of the price has dropped to current price and then i'm going to say uh, maybe like click to open and i can give a anchor tag here like slash a and then i can say like href and then equals and i can use this guy string interpolation to give the url okay so that's it we are pretty much done with this we will see the output maybe we can uh, check that okay that's it fine so we are able to send the mail but if there is any failure we have to handle that as well so here i'm going to give comma and here i'm going to get the error and the info why i'm smiling because uh, even without writing any code github copilot is giving me all the suggestions so that's why i'm keep on laughing smiling that's it okay so here it will be like if else and then we'll close another bracket okay so 
we have to close anything else yes i have to close one more bracket that's it okay and here i will say like uh, if there is an error we will console log and else we will just display the info probably okay so that's it and here we are getting some error it says like uh, we can give control dot and okay basically we have to say the types like what is error what is info so i can say like any i'm not sure what this error is of type so i'm saying here any and this info is basically string i think but it's okay we will give the any okay so that's it we are pretty much done with this uh, like how to send the mail now i'm going to convert this into a function so control dot and i can export that so send email notification okay and what are the current price we are going to get we are going to send okay now here i have to give the authentications so we can use the environment variables or if you are going to use the ci cd like github actions there also we have the environment variable concept i will try to cover that in the next video uh, as of now i have stored my data the username and the password in the json file so i'm going to make use of that so first of all we'll import that so import star as auth and we are going to import that from the current folder that is dot slash auth dot json so here i have a json file which have the username and the password okay so here i'm going to say like auth dot email and then here i'm going to say auth dot password uh, sorry for that yeah password okay and from basically the same guy so i'm going to copy paste here and here i'm going to give my personal email that is kaushik 350 at the rate gmail.com but before sending an email we have to remember one thing gmail is very secured one so third party applications cannot directly use the username and password and we cannot send email so what we have to do is we have to use this one less secure app okay log into your account and you have to disable enable this so it will be disabled by default we have to enable this then only node mailer or any other third party applications can access but to enable this allow less secure app we should not have the two factor authentication so basically i will not recommend you to use your personal account you can just create some dummy account and uh, you can use it for your learning okay now let's go and try to run and let's see whether we are able to get the notification or not okay so let's have a quick uh, glance glimpse i think uh, pretty good i believe so let's go and uh, write this and here did i change this we have inspected i think uh, this is already working fine so but still i like to make it more appropriate okay anyway it's not a problem so we'll go to our terminal and we'll run this again let's see whether we are able to get the uh, notification email notification or not i think this is the very quickest video i have ever done thanks to github copilot because i didn't write anything i just write the comments and it generated the stuff for us right so here we have no error so i believe mail we should receive the mail so i'm going to open my email and yeah we got this so here you can see zero minutes ago so we got this and here you can see the price of the product has dropped to 480 and click to open but we didn't get the uh link right so we'll do that now maybe we'll fix that together now so let's go to this function and this is the place where this one right so here p tag is closed uh which is this one okay okay we are not getting the text so i think we can pass either the text or the html so i'll just remove the text maybe and let's have the html so here we have the paragraph the this one we got and click to open but um i think this should come here uh, okay click to open and this should be within the a tag where href equal to this url okay this should be within the double quotes i think that is the issue here right so this is how we have to give like href equals double quotes and within that we have to give the url right so let's go and run this one more time i think uh, that should fix our code let's see okay so let's go to our email uh, 
and let's refresh and we got this email and again and here you can see this is the older one yeah so this is the older one like one minute ago and this is the zero meter this is the new newest one and here you can see like the price of the product has dropped to 480 we got the exact message and click to open if i click on this that should open me the this one okay this is fine now one thing we have to learn one more thing is basically like um, uh, what we call that ca right github actions so basically this is in my local machine so whenever i execute then only i will get the uh, output right but i want to get the output daily basis so i will use the github actions where i can configure like it should run like daily this time and then i will see the email okay and i don't want to get the email each and every day because i have a, a minimum price like if this is going to be below 400 then only i have to buy so here i can just write a if condition okay right so if uh, before that we have to change this into a number so i can say like number and this one if lesser than 400 oh, see it's already give me giving me all these suggestions okay so if it's if it's lesser than 400 then only it will send the email notification or else we won't get the email notification so that's it very cool right so this is how we can use the web scrapping in real time usage okay now in the next video we'll see like how to uh, configure that the same thing in the github actions to run daily okay so that's it from my side i hope you have enjoyed this little part of web scrapping if so you know what to do just give me a like on the videos and if you're new to the channel can you do the subscribe that will motivate me to bring more content like this and don't watch only the video you got a task okay so here i am using only one url but whatever the things you want to purchase probably you can make a list and you you are going to try like you have to run multiple times script will be only once but based on the number of urls you have to run for multiple times okay so that is the task for you i hope you will do it and you can send me your github link in the comments or of course you can join our discord and you can share your screenshot there i'll be waiting for waiting to see that so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care